Thank you, Foreign Minister Cassis. Uh, it was an honor to host you in Washington in February. It's great to be with you today here in Ticino. Uh, I'm the first Secretary of State to be in Bern in 20 years. Uh, I'm thrilled that we've had this opportunity to have an extended discussion here today. Uh, we in the United States have enormous respect and appreciation uh, for Switzerland and the role that your nation plays all around the world internationally. Uh, we know that Switzerland prizes its neutrality, but never shies away from defending its values, including democracy, peace, and good governance around the world. The United States and Switzerland are thus natural partners, and today uh, we're driving towards even greater cooperation. Uh, just a couple weeks back now, President Trump was proud to be the first U.S. president ever to host a Swiss president at the White House. And today, uh, Foreign Minister Cassis and I followed up on the ground that they covered. Uh, the first thing we spoke about was trade. It's easy to see why American businesses love to do business here in Switzerland. That's a central location in Europe, has financial and political stability, first class infrastructure, and a highly trained workforce. It's a great place for American businesses to come and work. Uh, two U.S. companies, Boeing and Lockheed Martin, are currently competing to provide Switzerland with its newest fleet of fighter jets, while another, Raytheon, is competing to provide its ground-based air defense system. American defense products are the best in the world, and we want to help Switzerland maintain its best-in-class defense, uh, as we do for our other close defense partners. Switzerland and the United States also continue to explore a potential bilateral trade agreement. Before Mr. Cassis mentioned this, while we're in the early stages, uh, I feel optimistic about the opportunity for progress. Uh, our economic interests are closely aligned, and so I think we'll be able to achieve a good outcome there for each of our two countries. Across all industries and both economies, a bilateral agreement would indeed make trade much faster, fairer, and more mutually advantageous. And a trade deal would also reinforce the economic values that we both hold dear. Um, you know, uh, it would also reinforce uh, this notion that uh, there are other countries that seek to undermine the way that we do business. China is one such nation. Its ambitions are on full display here in Switzerland. Under the free trade agreement that went into force in 2013, China has gained an extensive presence here, uh, while denying Swiss companies the same access inside of China. Uh, as I've said before, uh, the United States welcomes China's participation in the global economy as long as it plays by the rules. Um, but we encourage our Swiss friends and partners to recognize the security risks associated with many of China's economic activities, and we discussed that at some length today. Uh, strong relationships between countries are built on uh, good faith and uh, mutual respect, and the U.S.-Switzerland relationship certainly proves that. Uh, last December, we signed an MOU to advance our partnership in vocational education. Uh, the Swiss experience offers compelling lessons for the United States, uh, and U.S. industry has taken note of the model here in Switzerland. The Trump administration is grateful to Swiss companies currently sharing their expertise on this subject with us. I reminded the foreign minister, too, how deeply appreciative the United States is of Switzerland's service as Amer America's protective power in the Islamic Republic of Iran. In this role, uh, Switzerland guards American interests inside that dictatorship. You perform important consular services for our citizens there, and you manage the cases of our missing or imprisoned U.S. citizens, visiting them in Iranian jails, and assuring them and their families uh, that their country are doing everything that it can to bring them home. This is an important part of our bilateral relationship, as you know. Bringing home unjustly detained persons is one of President Trump's highest foreign policy priorities, and we throughout the administration work on it every single day. Uh, our two countries uh, have enjoyed sturdy bonds ever since the formation of a unified Swiss state in 1848. Over time, the world has come to look to both of our nations in our own unique ways as leaders in peace and democracy. Today, we seek to build an even brighter partnership between our two countries with great implications, not only for the United States and Switzerland, but for the entire world. Thank you.